I am feeling very crafty and happen to have some spare clay. I tried this a month ago. This was my cup. It's just, it's, a, it's an abomination. I need some water and my tools. The set came with this knife tool, this cutting out tool, sort of pointy, sharp tool, and some other molding tools, and a paintbrush for when we paint them. I have to figure out what I want to make. I wanted to make something autumn themed, so I was kind of thinking pumpkin, but I wanted it to be functional. That got me thinking about like a candle holder or an incense holder. Let's make a vaguely round bowl. <laughs> it, it keeps wanting to go to a point. There is my vaguely round shaped clay bowl. Now to make the stalk. This is the sort of shape I'm going for the base. This is my stalk. I'm gonna take this knife and I'm gonna just press into the pumpkin. Go here, here, here. I'm gonna use this tool to merge the stalk and the uh, base layer. I'm actually insanely proud of that. <sighs> All right, let's see. What does a pumpkin look like? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Ooh. Okay. Fuck. My pumpkin is very raised at this sort of segment, and I need it to be sort of sunken in. <sighs> I see you. I see it. I see it coming together. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Let's go to the next design. What am I thinking? Why did I just put all the clay back? I need more. I'm about to make another thing. What is wrong with me today? I want no more, no less than a stunning cup to drink out of. Is that too much to ask for? Is that too much to ask for? Can I use this? Good evening. It is quite a few hours later. In the last scene, if you do recall, I was holding this mug and molding the clay around it. My dumbass went like this and poured a full cup of tea all over myself and the carpet and the table and the pottery. Pottery's in the bin. I went out, got myself some eclairs. Literally, as soon as I finished that eclair, I had an idea of what to make. This incense holder, we'll be holding the incense like this, but where does all the ash fall? I was thinking that we should make a little ash basin. I don't know if this is too ambitious. What if the ash basin was a cat? Should I just give it a go? This looked way better in my head. I'm gonna try and smooth it out. Oh, I feel like I fucked this. Oh. 911, what's your emergency? It had to be done. It had to be done. We live and we die. That is the essence of creation. That is the beauty of life. on the bottom legs and the tail right now. I think this would be actually a really good gift for Christmas for one of my friends. Not this specific one, but maybe another one that I make more personalized. If you're watching this, Beth, you didn't see it. I just gotta work on the tail and then it is done. That's it. So it's base 
I'm gonna paint its little pores just like this. Let me smooth that out of it. Let's just stop while we're ahead. The two creations, we've got pumpkin. I had to remodel the stalk because it was breaking the cat. I'm gonna put them on this tray and leave them overnight. I'm gonna go have a bath. I need to wash all the clay off me. I will see you in the morning and hopefully we can get to painting them. Let's start painting. This is just a white base coat and then I'll paint the actual design on top once this is dried. Should I be doing the base? I don't know. I'm gonna wash my brush, let that dry, and then come back to do the second coat. Second coat time. I added a little hole there to hold the incense stick. It kinda looks like a butthole. Once the second coat is dried, we can start adding some color. Um, I think it's starting to get too dark in here though, so we might have to move into another room with better lighting. This is the best part. I am so excited for this. I have a reference photo. This little guy from Etsy. I like the sort of gray brown tones. I love how this started as gray and I've just painted it back to gray. Fun fact, black cats are less likely to be adopted because they're less photogenic than other cats. It's not really a fun fact, sort of a sad fact. I think I'm gonna use this for the pumpkin. In there. I'm gonna do one last coat on the pumpkin before I head to bed. I'll varnish them tomorrow and that should be me done. Good morning, I'm about to leave for work but I thought I'd quickly varnish them before I head off. I should call him. <laughs> Enough of that, Lily. to go to work now. I'm vlogging that as well, but that'll be a separate video. Stick around for the reveal. Just ending this video, I wanna to touch on the fact that I showed this cute little cat incense holder on my Be Real and to my mum. And on two separate occasions, people have said it looks like a, I don't think I can say that on YouTube without getting some sort of restrictions. But yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're kinda right though, they're kinda right. And you know what, I'm just gonna embrace it. She's trying her best, it makes me love her even more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this inspires you to do some clay, get creative, get crafty. I will see you in the next video. Bye.